Hello Universe, Internet Codename Spaceboot1 with you once again. This is Spaceboot1's Garden, and uh, we're on to another episode. And um, if you've been watching, uh, welcome back. I am exploring the plains biome to the north, the large plains biome to the north of my starting area. Um, and I've been looking for villages. I've already found two. The first one I named Bovinia, like as in bovine, because they have a butcher there, and they had some cows nearby, so I called it that. The second one I haven't named yet, but it, they have a they have a butcher and a blacksmith. So I th I was thinking of um, like Chardia, Chardia. I'm gonna write that down. Uh, do I have a book? No, I have to write it down in real life. Chardia. So, Bovinia and Chardia. Okay. And the other the other village in my world is called uh, Reedville because they have uh, they have two libraries. Okay. Oh, I should open the map up so I'm kind of recording as I go. Okay, I do, I see the desert ahead of me. This is the desert here. Um, I'm just, just going to have a look at my old map here. So this is my, oh, um, hmm. Uh, okay. I'll just take a break for a second. And I've logged in again, and yes, we have some, we have mappage. Okay, so... There's my spawn in the middle, in that peninsula with mountains all around it, with uh, a nice mine and some farms there. And then you can see, like, up to the north, there's a bit of a desert beginning. And then now I've come all the way back to that desert. So hopefully these maps will match up a little bit. And, um, yeah, that'll be good. I just want to, yeah, explore this desert a little bit. I found a couple of interesting things in this desert. The nice, one of the nice things about deserts is always finding. Um, it's fairly easy to find uh, dungeons rather soon underneath them. Uh, soon, quickly, they're easy to find anyways because they're they're shallow and the the sand falls in on top of them in a in a predictable pattern. So yeah, uh, so dungeons. Um, let's compare this. Am I... Oh yeah, I'm on this map now, too. So they overlap. That's a good overlap. That's not too much, not too little. So that's just what I wanted. Good overlap. Uh, we have a little bit of a well here. Let's, there's... I don't know what the point of these wells are. Maybe there's treasure underneath it? I'm, oh, well, I don't need to look there right now. Um, you know, the other thing I should watch out for is I have placed asbestos in my world. Uh, where are we? Here. So, oh, I think I put a, a, some asbestos in a chest somewhere not far from here. Um, because I was harvesting stuff. Oh, and look, grass growing on top of a cactus. I did that too. Like that's because I, I modified the game because it normally wouldn't allow that. I don't believe it would, anyways. But uh, I changed that because I like that better. I actually, well, no, I shouldn't take credit for it because I um, the the change that I made was I just allowed flowers to be placed on cactuses. But then I realized that so many of these um, these other plants and bushes are extensions of the flower class. So basically, they also go on top of cactuses, which turned out to be a pretty cool thing. Um, hmm. So yeah, I was thinking there might be a chest that I put down here earlier, but um, might be I don't know if it's north or south of here or or where exactly I put it. And I'm not too concerned about finding that chest again. I th I just thought it might be a might might be a night. Might be a neat uh, little thing to find and just have a look at. And the other thing I wanted to do is um, I have asbestos, like I put it coated into the game, but I haven't um, I haven't figured out how to do it, like make it actually fireproof yet. Like it just right now, it just looks pretty. 
Um, so uh, what I'm going to do, at least as far as playing is concerned, is I'm just going to get fire and fire protection enchantments and put them on, on an asbestos suit, and just and call that, uh, you know, just say that's that's how that works, um, rather than actually figure out how to do aspect like code in fire resistance inside the game which you know if I wasn't so lazy I would I would do that okay anyways doing some more running through the desert uh, I know there's nothing to be found to the north of here eventually I want to explore this entire map but for now I'm more interested in I just wanted to discover the edge there so I could match it to the other map but the main thing next is I want to uh, get back to the plains and uh, get to exploring the plains um, but anyways it, I think it's pretty cool that I have um, I've discovered two towns that are fairly close to the water so I can see myself basically just sailing up to them rather than have to cross the desert every single time I want to go of, of course you know ultimately the plan is I will be building nether porters nether por portuses por portals <laughs> nether portals uh, where am I I want to go basically this way but those two towns are a little bit more than half a map away from each other. Maybe they're just half a map, which is about a thousand blocks. Um, half of this big map is a thousand blocks. So I think that's about normal. There's usually about half a map away. Oh, and check out this this cactus here. Well, I shouldn't be showing this off either because it's still not quite satisfactory to my like to what I want. But these cactuses can now stick to each other. But um, yeah, I want to add. I want to change the texture so that they look a little bit better, a little bit nicer. Like so, they they look like they're one continuous bit of cactus, like all stuck together. I think that'd be cool. But uh, yeah, I don't have that yet. Don't have that done yet. It's on my list of things to do, things to learn, because basically, the way I'm, the way I approach coding in in Java is um, I figure out something I want to do and then I learn how to do it because I don't really know much about like I don't know how to code too well and supposedly you know there's lots of different ways to learn but one of the recommended ways among all of the other ways um, is to do it that way like find a project find something that you want to do that's interesting and um, and learn what you need to learn just to accomplish that project and just keep on doing that as things come up because there's going to be there's always going to be more things to learn so I've already been to this um, been to this pyramid once before uh, I've already looted it so there's no need to go in there again but I just thought I you know point it out to you there is a pyramid here in the desert there's my map um, uh, yeah I don't know how interesting that is. So I think off that direction there's another dungeon, but I've again I've looted it, but it's useful to have a oh and there's another one straight ahead. It's useful to have um spawners. I think this one's a spider spawner. So maybe I can build uh, something around it one day. I probably won't. Oh look, there's a bit of a bit of flesh there from who knows how long ago <laughs> so basically now now I finally got back to the plains I'm going to attempt to oh let, here let's have a let's have a snack just uh, just enjoy the scenery let it load a little bit and thank goodness we're not going into the jungle <laughs> eventually I'll probably have to go into that jungle but you know I don't I really don't like going into jungles Okay, and there's some cool caves here. That's fun. Some sheep. Do I need more sheep? No, I have a I have a bed and I have I have everything I need. And let's do let's hop 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 up the hill. 
Um, so I, yeah, I hear we're getting uh, horses in Minecraft um, pretty soon, which that would make this job... Well, I, I don't know how fast the horses are going to go, but I think this job would be a little bit cooler if I could do this all on horseback. Um, I actually, I have done it with mods before, but um, I actually, I didn't reinstall, it was Simply Horses was the name of the mod. I did not reinstall it. Um, so the the other mod, of course, is Mo Creatures has horses, so, um, and I'm sure there are other mods that add horses. Uh, let's find a safe way down. Well, not too safe, just relatively safe. Um, but uh, I might, well, actually, no, now that Mojang is officially adding horses, I, I don't need to download any mods to put in horses, but I was thinking I might do that. Um, I have my own plans for new mobs, uh, but they aren't horses, uh, like to, to do myself, like to do my own, because you know I like to do that, I like to mod myself, my own game, a little bit. Ah, we're back in the forest again. I do like forests. Do you remember the whole first part of my series was all set in the forest? Yeah, I kind of miss it. I miss that world still. But, you know, this world... Oh, am I? Is this the same village again? Or is this a different new village? I think this is the same village. What it, is this? This is Chardia. No, no, this is not Chardia. This is very close to Chardia, though. Uh, it might be. Hello. No, this is a new, different village, cause, cause that's new and weird and different, and, <laughs> and this looks dangerous. Having a cave right next to the village. Jeez. Let's light this up. I don't think any zombies are going to be swimming up this waterfall, but... Um, yeah, I think that's good enough. You never know. <laughs> now i got to swim up it. Whee, okay. Let's get it lit up real good. Real nice. Oh, jeez, what are you doing down there? Hello? I don't want you going down all the way down here. Jeez. Okay, well... It's not that deep, so I guess I guess you'll actually kind of be safe a little bit here, won't you? Oh, and you can't get back up. Okay, here, yeah, I will. Um, there. Okay, now at least if he wants out, he can get out again. Yikes. Anyways, um, so what sort of place do we have? We have one butcher and one. Um, Blacksmith. You know, it's funny. I don't. I didn't. Um, you know, I don't check his uh, the blacksmith's chest because basically, I'm like even if he has diamonds in there, I'm not. I'm not taking his diamonds from him. I, I just think that wouldn't be cool. Oh wow. Okay. More caving. Hopefully no guys go down here, but I guess now that it's lit up, they can, you know, if they did, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, I just have to be careful, like, well, what I should do, actually, right now, I was thinking, like, if I ever block it off, I should be careful, make sure that there's no guys down here, but, you know, now that I've been here now, now would be a good time. Now that I know that there's definitely nobody in here. There. There. That's much safer. Um, what do we got here? I don't think that's... A, yeah, nothing there. Ah, okay. I might... Interesting. There's like two villages very close to each other here. That's kind of cool. And I was just giving uh, Chardia... I was just giving them grief because they're so small. And then here they have a... They have a neighbor which is very similar in size and in fact yeah it's it's got the same buildings um hmm, what are we going to do here just going to fill this in 
we can add a bit of a road later. Um, anything in here? Yeah, uh, this village does not seem that safe. Now I wonder if I should... Ah, I know. Uh, it'll be West Chardia and East Chardia. Um, that's good enough, I, I think. I'm not going to explore too far in that cave. Um, maybe I will block it off. I think that's properly blocked. Oops. Yeah, nobody can come up here now. Hopefully there's no guys down there, but I don't think there will be. Um, oh, and it is getting towards night. I'm going to just plop the bed right here, just to be safe. So I don't... Yeah, so I don't waste a whole lot of time finding a good building to go into. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. I, di I didn't want to stay in... Uh, let me see. Where am I now? I'm in West Chardia, basically. And when I went past East Chardia, I didn't even want to stay because it was too uh, small. It wasn't interesting, but... Um, Turns out they have their twin over here. So, yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Um, here, I'm going to fill in this a little bit too. Um, yeah. Let's just look around a little bit here. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah. Hi. Oop. Is there something back here? Jeez. Oh, I hear a zombie. I don't like the sound of the zombie. Oop. Well. I hear a zombie, but I also hear them burning. And I don't hear them smashing doors. I have no idea if they're killing villagers out there. I hope not, but... I think the villagers have enough sense to uh, run away if there's a zombie. And I don't think I left them in there, but I'm not going to close it up right yet, because I do not know. And I wouldn't want to lock anybody in. Okay, hi there. Yes, you have an interesting uh, thing, uh, interesting road here. I was talking earlier about how I like when there's a road on a roof, or on a hill. Well, there it is. East Chardia, West Chardia. And that guy, he's just stuck there until I come back and build him a staircase. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so these two towns. Okay, well. I suppose I've probably spent enough time here. Probably one of these days I'll just do a, a quick road between the two, um, between these two towns. But for now... Oh, no, I don't have too many torches left. Can't even remember using them on anything. Okay, so East and West Chardia are places. Um, so we're done with them. So we're going to just explore a little bit more of the plain here, the perimeter. And I wouldn't be surprised if we find even more villages. Um, I believe I found the northern extent of this plain. And I'm not sure if this will be the western extent. Um, I have completely explored the entire coastline now at this point. Um, and we know that the western boundary is this forest. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, this this 
planes might take more of a western turn here like and it will go off of this map which is ooh <laughs> uh how should i get across i was thinking of, of building a bridge but maybe i will you know the thing is like the way to really fall in love with a map is to really explore it. Like, it's not enough to just, you know, have your starting biome and just be like, okay, you know, this is my new world. This is, you know, ho hum. You know, um, the way to to really like the reason why I kind of love this new map um, is because I've got a chance now to, you know, find villages and and name things and explore a little bit. Um, and it's like, you know, I still miss my old world and I miss all the villagers there. Um, but, you know, this one is starting to, it's got a, it's got its own place now in my heart. And hopefully I don't delete this world. Hopefully I'm not, you know, <laughs> don't make that dumb mistake again. Um, it's funny, like, do you dream of Minecraft? Um, I should ask, uh because I had a dream once that I went into a giant forest biome and the the forest was full of villages and uh, it was basically like street with houses surrounded by forest trees it was pretty cool and it was like a giant like uh, well it was it was town so it was the same buildings as your standard village um, but it was just it just went on and on forever and I think there's a mod that'll there's a way to do that with a mod um, you just you can make villages extra big and you can make them spawn in almost any biome like including forests okay uh, so I kinda like the shape of this this uh, plains biome but I'm getting the feeling that it it's going to be a bit wider coming up to the north here and it's going to go northwest yeah that's what it feels like but I'm not sure Oop, there's a lava pool there so yeah I'm curious how far west this is going to go and um, if I need to make another map possibly Do I need to make another map? Here we go, here we go. Um, okay, well, there's more forest there, so... Yeah, it's hard to say. I'm still technically on this map. Oh, now I'm officially off it. I'm officially off this map. And... Jump, jump. Um, and of course, like you know trees load kind of one at a time so it's it's difficult to tell when exactly like you see a tree and you wonder if it's the beginning of a forest or if it's just um, a natural tree in the plains and of course I've I've modded my game so the trees will grow in plains um, hmm okay I think we have another oh <laughs> what's it gonna be I see those white trees definitely don't spawn on plains um, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Well, this video is basically uh, complete, so I'm going to have to say uh, goodbye at the end of this video, and um, you know, you can, you're welcome to click over to the next one in the series and see where we explore next, and have some more fun with Minecraft. <laughs>